as you can see here, I'm looking at the Holy Zohar. And uh, the ancient Holy One is revealed with three heads, which are united in one. And that one is threefold exalted. And this is the uh, Amsterdam edition of the Zohar, the third volume, 288b. And uh, here you can see I've highlighted this area. And uh, these are docking points where the Yeshua ship might find safe harbor and take on passengers as in the book of Acts in the Brit Hadashah. Now Rosh Hashanah is upon us and uh, I want you to see that in Judaism we have these glorious tomes and uh, 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 Zalman, uh, in the uh, in the uh, one great book of uh, the Lubavitchers, uh, has written, he and his vivifications are one, he and his causations are one, they are all divinity. Uh, this is the uh, Tanya. He and his name are one. But notice, the name is not Menachem. The name of the Tzemach, the Mashiach, is prophesied to be Yehoshua or Yeshua, uh, Ezra 3, 8, Zechariah 6, 11 and 12, because here we're dealing with the grandson of Sarayah, who was executed by the king of Babylon. His uh, son died in the Golas, but resurrected from the death of the Golas was his grandson, uh, Yehoshua ben Yehoshadak. He's the one that builds the Beis HaMikdash after the Golas, and uh, he himself is uh, resurrected to stand up alive from the death of the Golas, and his namesake is projected forward, the name source projected forward to the name target. That's what a namesake is. And behold, the uh, Ezra 3, 8 uh, says that the Aramaic translation of Yehoshua is Yeshua. So notice, uh, Zechariah doesn't come up to this man and say, oh, you're Yeshu, you're Yoshka. You're, you're, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't show the the uh, foul blasphemy, but this uh, name is revered, and uh, the the man actually has the name of the coming Zemach Moshiach. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to just tear this out of your Tanakh? Uh, Zechariah 6, 11, and 12? I don't think so. Uh, look, we go to Psalm 16, verse 10. The Mashiach has no shachat. If you exhume a body in Old Montefiore Cemetery and you see the putrefaction and the decay then you're not dealing with Moshiach. On the third day, he will raise us up, just as Elimelech is vicariously raised up in Boaz, his uh, goal. Our goal, we have uh, his Justification, uh, Isaiah 53 says, My righteous servant will justify many. Uh, he carries away like the Sair, the uh, Azazel, our sins. Uh, so we give him our sins. He carries them away, but he gives us his righteousness because he uh, justifies many. Now this is in uh, Isaiah chapter 53. So when you put these three together, uh, 
Psalm 1610, Zechariah 6, 11, and 12. And uh, when you put that with uh, the uh, Isaiah 53, and when you look at the Zohar to see the threeness of the one, you begin to see something that we don't really see. Now, here's the wonderful thing. When, when you go to the Orthodox Jewish Bible, uh, which is online, afii.org, forward slash, capital O, capital J, capital B, dot PDF, being downloaded all over the world, millions and millions of downloads, sermoncentral.com, sermonsfortheworld.com, uh, Bible Gateway, Bible Hub, Bible Study Tools, uh, millions and millions of downloads all over the world. Uh, you see this wonderful text here from a, a Maxor, uh, an Orthodox Jewish Maxor, uh, where we're dealing here with uh, the Mashiach. Uh, let me just give you the uh, English translation here. Moshiach, our righteousness has turned away from us. We are crushed and there is none to justify us. He, he loaded on himself our sins. This is the... Uh, you know the 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 say led to the slaughter. That's the uh, the uh, Pesach theme, and also the uh, the Sayer la, la Azazel uh, Yom Kippur theme. He nasa Leviticus sixteen twenty two uh, Isaiah fifty three. He nasa our sins. He loaded on himself our sins and the yoke of our transgressions, and he was thrust through because of our transgressions. He loaded up our sins on his shoulders so that we might find forgiveness for his, for our iniquities. Uh, there is healing for us in his wounds. O oh, eternal, it is time to create him anew. Make him ascend from the circle of the earth. Bring him up from the Sa'ir, the, the world of the, the Goyim, to proclaim to us again on Mount Lebanon by the hand of Yenon, that's uh, Moshiach, Psalm 72, 17. Moshiach in the prayer book, supplied to the OJB translator by Rockmill Friedland in 1980 with notes in his own hand taken from um, two uh, Moxoruses. A uh, Moxorus, uh, one published in 1876, but both derived from an ancient source. And, um, you know, uh, th this, this ought to uh, have some kind of impact on you uh, because this is, a, this is a wonderful thing that God has done. Uh, and uh, here you can see it uh, in the uh, actual Hebrew. Now... Uh, this is in the uh, Orthodox Jewish Bible, and uh, uh, that's what I'm reading from. You say, well, what are you ex actually talking about? I'm talking about this. I'm, ta I'm talking about this ancient Maxor right here, which I uh, made a PDF copy of. It's very, very hard to get your hands on. It's very hard. But it is, it is one of the treasures that I found doing street preaching in, uh, in Brooklyn. And it's one of the things that God gave me. And uh, uh, it, it's a wonderful thing. And here you can see we have the whole thing uh, as a PDF file. Now, this is for uh, Friday because, I mean, we're talking Rosh Hashanah coming up on us right away here. And then... A week from Sunday, we got Yom Kippur. Uh, so uh, this here's the URL on this. Can you see it? It says uh, afii.org forward slash Moxor forward slash Moxora A dot PDF. It's so big, I, I had to break it down into smaller, uh, you know, uh, units. 
but uh, it's called the uh, the Maxor Rosh Hashanah Bayom Kippurim Kaminhag Safarad, New York Hebrew Publishing Company. Notice the Hebrew Publishing Company and uh, a medieval Rosh Hashanah prayer says. May it be thy will that the uh, that uh, that the sounding of the shofar uh, may be embroidered in thy heavenly court by the angel who is appointed for it, as thou hast accepted the prayers by the hand of Elijah of blessed memory, and through look at this, Yeshua, the Prince of the Face, uh, the, of the Face, Yeshua Sarsh. Uh, Hapanim. Uh, so there it is. Now, uh, let me just go a little further, if you don't mind, here, while I'm working on this. Uh, let me go to the Orthodox Jewish Maksor page, afii.org forward slash ojmaksor.html, right here. The Holy One, blessed be He, created the world by the Mamar. Here you have the uh, rabbinic uh, uh, actual reference. And of course, uh, Psalm 33, verse 6 uh, in the uh, uh, Tanakh. And Haye Olam has appeared in the Mikashem Ma'amar, Moshiach. Then it says, download free the Maxor Rosh Hashanah that I've just spoken about with Yeshua Sar Hapanim, the uh, Hebrew 620 Metatron. See the OJB. And then you see you have you have the whole Maxor here. And notice it takes uh, a whole lot of uh, PDFs to get it all up there. But this is a gift, a free gift to you from AFII. And then this is for the Lubavitchers. Hallelujah. Uh, it's a glorious thing. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, when, I, when I say Metatron, let's look at this. Metatron. Uh, the reference was uh, page, what is it, 1091. And, uh, it says, this is uh, verse 20. When Yehoshua has entered as a Metatron forerunner on behalf of us, having become a Kohen Le'olam al Divriti Melchizedek. Uh, and that's, of course, Psalm 110, verse 4. This is a Davidic kahuna, which he enjoyed. You know, if you go to uh, uh, an ancient history, Eusebius, you will find that the grandsons of his half-brother are brought before the Caesar. And why? Because uh, they are a political threat uh, being direct descendants of King David. But once he sees they're just farmers, uh, uh, the uh, political threat is diminished. But that is, in itself is uh, a proof uh, of what we're talking about here. Uh, uh, you know, Yeshua who comes through Shlomo, Ben Dovid, and Miriam, who comes through Natan, Ben Dovid, in the genealogies. And this is the real son of David, who has the real right to the throne. Uh, and then when you get to the to the end of, of the uh, OJB, which is free, you just download it. You find this this page where uh, 
you have the front cover of the Maxor. Also, if you just if you just Google um, Orthodox Jewish Maxor, AFII.org, you'll also come to this. There it is. And then notice what it says. Yeshua Sarhapanim. And then it has a, a uh, actual arrow showing where in the Maxor this occurs, where you could find this actual... Uh, now, these, the, these people that put this together long ago were Orthodox Jews. Uh, uh, and 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 and, uh, and the the people in uh, Jerusalem uh, were Orthodox Jews, uh, as it says in Acts uh, chapter uh, twenty twenty one. When you read about uh, when you, when you get to chapter twenty and chapter twenty one, you see that Paul is visiting a Torah observant. Uh, community and the the shul is led by a direct descendant of david his name is yaakov the half brother of of yeshua and these are zealous for the torah these are not uh, uh you know uh, catholics or episcopalians uh you really have to see this uh and so uh let me see here. There's just one other thing I wanted to show you, if I could. And uh, this is uh, where you get this Bible. Right here. AFII forward slash OJB.PDF. And here's uh, the page that I'm talking about. And here is the place in the Maxor where Yeshua's name is given. Now, uh, there's one other thing I want to show you. Uh, the, the wonderful Zohar uh, passage is tremendously inspiring because it shows the threefoldness and oneness. But in 1994, when this Lubavitcher Brit Hadashah was finished, we made sure that in Lucas, uh, when, uh, let's see what, this is chapter 10, uh, verse 20. It says, But in this, do not have a lev sameach on account of the ruchot submitting to you, but have a lev sameach that your shemot have been inscribed in Shemayim. And then notice what it says here. It says, Kidvenu besefer hahayim, lamanha elokim chayim. Inscribe us in the book of life for Thy sake, O living God. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur services. And so you can also get this uh, book, uh, which is available free of charge on our website. Just Google Orthodox Jewish. Maxor. And we're speaking about the way he reveals himself in the scriptures. And we find out Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. He is Echad. But we also find out that, uh, that uh, a man and a woman can become Echad. When they get married, uh, they become one flesh. Even though they're two, they become one. And this word, ahad, it seems to imply a complex unity. That God is one, but he is also, well, look at the beginning of Bereshus, Genesis, the first three verses. We find out in the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. And then it says, and the earth was formless and void, 
and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And then it says the Ruach Elohim uh, hovered over the face of the waters. And then it says, and Elo Elohim said, let there be light. In other words, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made. Uh, Tehillim, te I think it's uh, the 33rd chapter. Uh, uh, but, the, but here's the point. Already we see the complexity of, of the unity of God. That God is uh, Elohim Ha'av. He is Elohim Hadavar. And he is Elohim Haruach HaKodesh. And uh, when we get to uh, Psalm 33, we, we have this confirmed. That by the word of the Lord were the heavens made. By the Devar Hashem were Shemaim made. And all the tzava of them by the ruach of his mouth. Uh, so, friends, uh, uh, little Shmuel, little Samuel, he didn't know the Lord because the, the Devar Hashem, the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed unto him. And, and, and in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and, and the word was God. Uh, and, and so, when you get to the... the uh, the book of Daniel, you see that the Bar Enosh comes on the glory cloud, uh, that the Mashiach is the Bar, the, the sun. Uh, we, we, all, we also know uh, in, in Mishle, in, in Proverbs, it says, who has thrown all the stars in this, into the sky? What is his name and what is his son's name? So God has a son. His son is his word. But his son is also the Mashiach, the Baranosh. And, and so when the, when the Baranosh takes on flesh, it says, uh, Unto us a son is born, unto us a child is given, and his name shall be called El Gibor. So, so uh, you see that God is one, but also he has a complexity in his unity. Yes. Uh, this is not a, a doctrine that we made up. It's one that's in the scriptures. We're talking about the Kedusha HaMeshuleshen. Now, I, I'm going to talk to you just for a minute outside the Bible. I'm going to uh, take some uh, rabbinic books to illustrate this. Here is the Zohar. And, and, and in this particular uh, book, which is highly revered by the Hasidim, uh, uh, here's what it says. It says, the, the ancient Holy One is revealed... He's found in three heads, which are united in one. And that head is threefold. Uh, threefold exalted. Threefold. Uh, in other words, the Kedusha HaMeshuleshet, that God is three. And here it actually says it, that, he, that God is one, but he's also three. Amen. And then it speaks of... of uh, uh, of in, uh, the book of Daniel, where uh, God is two. Uh, he's also three, but he's two. Now, where does it say that he's two? Well, you have the Bar Enosh coming to the Atik Yomim in Daniel chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. There they are in the glory clouds. Here is Elohim Ha'av. He's called the Atik Yomim, the, the Ancient of Days. Here is the Bar Enosh. Here, here's the Bar, the, the sun. The Mashiach, the Ben Dovid, but also Ben Hayalokim, the Zun Fundaroibister. And they're both God. You say, oh, you, some, some, some guy is uh, making up this doctrine. Friend, this is the Zohar. Don't tell me it's uh, something that, that the Goyim have come up with. This is the Holy Zohar that says this. Uh, I'm looking at uh, page 576. Now, if you go to Google and you type Zohar, Z-O-H-A-R, three in one, you will see this very page. And you will be able to look at the Aramaic and you'll be able to, to actually see the translation. And you'll even see it in Rashi script. And, and, uh, and this is not something that we came up with. It's something that's in Judaism. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh.